Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be modeling the spinner. Uh, let's open a new part and step by step build it together. Firstly on the front plane we create a sketch and we will place here one line and then we convert it to construction geometry. I will create here two time circle. And I will start to give some dimensions. This is 35. This circle is 3. This is 1. And then I will select my circle. Control is pressed. I will select my point. I say coincident. Circle, point, again coincident. Control should be pressed. Later here, one line here as well we are going to make here a tangent and the angle is five degree and then we trim we can remove unnecessary part here we have an angle of 62 and then this line selected control pressed this circle is selected and we say tangent. Again trim, first option active, and we remove this guy. Uh, later we create here one arc, something like this, and after that a line as you see on the screen. Both selected, control pressed, line and circle, tangent. Here we have 3.5 and we are going to give point dimensions to these points of the chamfer. This is 23. This point is 22. And from bottom, this point have a 12.5 height. And this point have a 14.5 heart. Simply it is at height 2. And then later I'm going to pick from here to here a spline. And I will say to this one tangency. And the tangency value is 10. From here to here. I will give a 21 tangency value. We are quite much done. Everything is uh, black. That means fully constrained sketch. And I will open one more sketch on front plane and convert everything. Then I will convert this line as well. Make construction geometry. And then hide the first sketch. We will remove with trim this unnecessary parts. Hmm. Don't need to do that, but for this uh, moment it is fine. Later on, we start from here a sketch. Simply we make something like this. Yes. Uh, dimensions. Here we have a 10. Here we have 0 0.25 and here 0 0.25 as, as well. We could give a uh, equal relationship. When this is done, we select it, we go revolve base, axis of revolution will be this guy and sketch contour will be this guy and Contour one is need to move, and then we have this again. Front plane first surfaces offset surface. We have a zero offset here, and then we will close this one and select this edge, make 12. We will use to cut our extra 
parts from Revolve uh, extrude operation that's why I need it I look to my original sketch and I select this too something like this is I think all right from here to here like let's say three we close this both extrude base mid plane 0.25 and merge result everything selected and then we go to both space again circular pattern this will be the pattern and the number of instances is now 30 after this operation we are selecting surface extent surfaces cut with surface and change the direction of your arrow so surface will be cut it and then we remove these points it is looking very clear the last operation giving a 0.4 radius oh, 0.4 to each edges and then the operation is done yes I completed the radiusing operation and model is done uh, we can here create a little chamfer as well it can be nice maybe 3.25 let's say something like this yeah it's looking nicer thanks for watching if you like it please hit the like button and make a comment See you in another video.